Hi gang, hope you're all okay. I've had to resort to my phone this evening because even though I tested everything out this morning, uh, it's decided that it actually doesn't want to play at all, which is fine, which is fine. I don't have any problems with that, <laughs> except, uh, you know, we're not used to it, are we? Um, so uh, welcome to Making It Monday. I hope you're all okay. I'm going to get my um, Facebook uh, up on my my laptop so I can see uh, if anybody's uh, there and what comments you're making because obviously it's the comments that are the thing that keeps us all going doesn't it it keeps us all uh, ticking along nicely so um, let me just uh, get that on my screen I might have to get a second screen up you know what these things are like so just bear with me a second and um, that way I can see the comments I can see people but I I I I'm restricted and uh, obviously I'm not used to it like um, Abigail and, and, and Kath and everybody else's. I can see it now. That's lovely. Just make sure I'm on silent, which I am. You've got a fantastic view of my workroom. <laughs> you don't normally see this part of it. <laughs> So I'm not going to move the camera. I'm going to try really hard to get the um, everything in view. Uh, so, but I don't have the kind of setup that uh, normally sort of allows for that. So you'll have to bear with me. And obviously we're not live on YouTube. So if anybody joins from YouTube and says, oh, where are you? Perhaps one of you can say, it's not possible today. <laughs> Right, so um, tonight we're, we're making Mitty, and Mitty is lovely. It's a really super pattern. Um, I do look rather large on screen. I might go back a bit. Anyway, Mitty is a lovely pattern, okay? It's, it's using the templates again. I make no apologies for that. Uh, oh, hopefully you can hear me. Is, any, if, is anybody there that can tell me that they can hear me? Uh, I can't. Oh, there are comments. Let me have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Comments. Here we go. Oh, nobody said they can't hear me. Well, that's a that's a fairly good start, isn't it? I think we're all fine. Yes. I I don't see anything that says anything that you can't see me uh, hear me. So that's good. Anyway, we're going to make Mitty. Now Mitty was created because and it's purely selfish. When I put cream on my well, some cream, any sorts of cream to be to be honest. Um, I, if I get any cream near my eyes, oh, that's it, uh, that's it. Uh, my eyes stream for the rest of the day. It's really, um, it, I, I end up with really red sore eyes. <laughs> so the idea was that obviously if you're going to the beach and you want to apply some sun cream, you know, on, on you, your little one, your partner, whoever, not the dog, um, then you've got something clean, let's say, something that's not anywhere near your hands that you can actually pop, pop, pop through your fingers like this. They do look like um, espadrilles, I make no apology for that. And uh, you can pop your cream on there. I've got some somewhere, we'll try it later. I wonder where I left, oh, it's right over there. I'm, I'm not microphoned up, so I can go and get it if I want to. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can sort of put your creams on. Now, the other thing that um, was mentioned the other day is that um, you could use your fake, your faux tans, darling, your faux tans. So if you're putting on a faux tan, then again, you can use the mitt. And of course, of course it's washable. So you can throw it in the wash and get rid of all that cream. Uh, you may not have any issues with applying cream, but my first thought was, if you are on the beach and you are applying cream to a little one, to yourself, whoever, stranger, why not? Let's share. Um, you've then got the problems of all this cream on your hands. I mean, obviously you could use um, wipes, but wipes are, are not environmentally friendly. There are some out there that are, but mostly they're not. So I'm thinking uh, all the time about how we can save the planet. So by having a res reusable mitt with Mitty, which is also a glove puppet, puppet put some eyes on there. Come on, think imaginatively. Um, um, but obviously you can wash this. You can also, if you wanted to, use it in the bath, you know, or the shower, especially if you've got little ones staying there. Uh, make it fun. Put, make it out of um, like Superman fabric or, you know, that sort of thing. 
Um, and it's then it's really quite fun, isn't it then? And the idea of a Making It Monday is all about easy, fun, let's make a couple of dozen of them and sell them, uh, you know, quick, easy, simple projects that we don't need to worry too much about, don't have to think too hard. It's, if we have to think too hard on a Monday, this week will slowly go downhill. I have uh, I've proved that to myself over the years. So let's start off with something super easy. Now, this one does, does not have any wadding in, okay? If you want to put wadding in, and make it a lot more, uh, well, certainly thicker, but also more spongy feeling, by all means use some wadding. Um, I probably would stick to a polyester, um, and I would probably, I might even stick to a sort of like an inner form, like a, a foam, uh, because that would squeeze out better. I think if you used an 80-20 or a bamboo or something like that, it's going to get wet it's going to get quite damp let's say even when you're putting on sun cream I must remember to smile on this camera because it, otherwise it looks like I'm miserable um so uh, you could obviously use uh, wadding or you know some sort of interfacing if you want to but quite honestly the toweling that I've used is actually quite thick um so it really does depend on the quality of your toweling as whether you actually want to Pad it out. That's what I'm trying to say. So, for goodness sake, let's get started. <laughs> we'll be here all day. I'm, I'm already late. Um, so that's the pattern you'll get. Let's do it like that so you can see. I even managed to turn the camera so you can read the writing. I didn't know how to do that because for ages and ages and ages I haven't used my phone. And of course, Facebook has changed everything. Um, which means that I didn't know how to turn it, but I managed, I managed. I even got a sort of a brighter light on here, but actually you can't see that now. Anyway, on the, on my PC, it looks perfectly fine. Um, somebody says, try refreshing the page. Um, look, you know what? Um, <laughs> if you're having technical problems, stand in my shoes for an hour. <laughs> you can just refresh your page and or close everything down start again I could not do that this evening <laughs> so think yourself lucky that's all I can say yeah so we're going to make this like I said the templates um the, all the pieces that you need are in the pattern and if I can I'm going to try and put you down on my desk in a minute we'll see how we get on I hope I don't drop you but you've got uh actually I'm looking at this it looks a bit small where's my bag I'm going to have a little look at this. That doesn't look right. So if it's not right, I'll let you know. No, that's not right. That is not right. Okay, hands up. Anybody that's downloaded the pattern, it is not correct. I will correct it because this triangle is not the correct triangle to use. Okay, so I need to update it. Um, don't panic. For those that are in the digital pass, you'll get a free one anyway. If you're in the gold group, you get a free one anyway, so it matters not. If you've bought it, I will look at the orders and I'll send you a new one out. But <laughs> it definitely isn't the right size. If I was to show you, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to compare. Uh, do you know what? I never checked that. How foolish of me. My fault, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the circle's fine. So we'll, we'll cut out the circle. I'm just trying to find my scissors. Um, but the triangle is absolutely not. So I will replace it. You are not to worry. You're not to get stressed about it or fret. You won't have wasted your money. <laughs> if you're looking at this afterwards, after let's say eight o'clock tonight the new updated version i can't believe that will be on the website okay and you are not to worry it'll all be updated i don't want anybody asking me from half past day onwards have i got the correct pattern because everything will be updated on the website for you digital pass holders and you gold members um so everything is correct so you're not to worry if you've ordered it and you've paid your pound thank you i will resend you out the correct one but the circle is right okay so let's get cracking on this obviously i'm using my um my plastic temp my acrylic templates uh yeah so <laughs> 
lovely. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm going to try and put you down on my desk. You may well drop out of the holder. If you do, I will pick you up and put you back. Now you need to cut seven triangles, okay? Those of you that have got the templates, you're lucky. You can just cut and use the templates and there's hundreds of you that have. So I'm going to give this a go, guys. I don't promise anything, okay? <laughs> Bear with, let's try and get my hand out of the way. So let's do it like that. Whoa. Oh yes, I am that pro. <laughs> so I know it's probably wonky and all the rest of it, but this is the best I can do, guys. I'm just gonna check my screen just to make sure. Yeah, you're okay, you can see. So I've got my fabric folded over. I'm just going to, well, they got four layers there. And this is for the strip that's in the middle. I know I'm going to be a bit wasteful here, guys. I understand that. But, you know, and I'm going to stand up to make sure I've got enough pressure with my rotary cutter. I know I'm wasting fabric. I don't want you to fret about that either. OK, but for demonstration purposes, it's always good to have more than what you need. Um, so I'm just now obviously you can you can use a rotating cutting mat. I don't want anybody saying you could use a rotating cutting mat. I'm well aware, but you know, needs must. Things are a little stressful today. So there's four. So I might as well just cut through again and get eight. And and I can always use one of these triangles for something else, can't I? Um, somebody said to me, don't cut towards me. Uh, you know what? You're a grown up. You can decide whether that's safe for you or not. I'm just going to do the best I can. <laughs> so there we go. So we've got one more than we need to, but that's fine. Let's see how we get on now. Um, let's get rid of the templates. Right. So we need seven. So let's go one, two, pretty, isn't it? I love the spots. And by, you know, do it all in the same colorways. There's no reason why you have to do it in a different colorway or anything like that. You know, different, you, I mean, if you're trying to make a bunting sort of design, then obviously you could, you could then um, do red, white, and blue or something like that. But there we are, we've got seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven beautiful triangles. And um, I will now just put them right sides together and stitch them through with a quarter inch seam allowance, okay? So, welcome to Making It Monday, to a rather flustered Lizzie. I'm doing my best for you guys. <laughs> so we'll see how we get on. You know what I should have done? I should have had a sherry. <laughs> that would have solved all my problems. So I'm bringing my machine in. I just want to make sure you can see, so I'm going to move it slightly. Uh, that's not too bad, let's try that again. How does that look? I'm going to check the camera before I start to make sure you can see. I have to say the light is really, really clear on, on, the, um, on the actual screen. I'm really pleased with that. So I've set my machine to a quarter inch seam allowance. You might have a foot, uh, you might have a guide on your machine, uh, you might have a, a adjuster like me where I can just set the machine to a quarter inch and you're going to, I'm going to turn that stitch length down a bit, it's running away with me, um, and you're going to stitch these all together, okay? And what we'll do, we'll do them all and then I'll press them. But the one thing you need to do is to make sure when you do stitch, and I'll do the another, one, another one so you can see. So if we lay that one like that, that's how we want it to go. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just checking my, my, my screen, I think you can. So right sides together. And you want to make sure that you've got a little tiny dog ear at the top. So if I turn that around and show you, you can see that I've got a tiny little dog ear here at the top and that's how you want it, okay? Um, and then it, it comes right, it comes right, I promise. Make sure if you want to finger press those seams just as you come down to the bottom here to make sure that it's um, 
uh, that it's that, that the seam allowance is sort of pressed open that you're not pressing a fold you can see I'm just giving it a finger press here but seriously um, it's always good to press the seam as you go um, and then you've got a lovely lovely um, edge to sew, sew against and again just make sure that everything is as it should be so we can just stitch along and just enjoy the process it doesn't have to be complicated and actually that's what making it Monday projects are all about they're all about enjoying the an hour half an hour of stitching that you might find yourself you've got five minutes to yourself and you just want to do a little bit of stitching so you could make these for your colleagues at work for Christmas, you know, gifting. You could add um, like bath salts and bath salts. Do we have that anymore? Bubble bath and soaps and things like that to make a little gift up with. You could make these for table presents for Christmas. You, you can tell I'm still in Christmas mode, um, but you can do them for birthdays as well. How about making one for a new mum, one for baby, make it a little bit smaller perhaps, one for mum, because sometimes we forget about mum, don't we? And just um, make, make them for, for gifting, make them for your local charity. The charity that I support is each, and obviously Children in Need, we're doing that because we've got the um, Beach Bear. Hopefully you've seen Beach Bear, if not, I'll show it to you. And you could make, well, you could probably make hundreds of these and, and gift them. It would be absolutely super. So can you see, within a very short period of time, I've created a lovely strip of patchwork, which is not too bad, not too shabby. So I shall move the machine now. I'll give that a little iron and I'll just trim it if I need to. I don't think it, it needs huge amounts of trimming. But I will do that just so it's lovely and neat. Hopefully you'll see that fine. I think it looks okay on camera. Yeah, I think we're, we're doing a cracking job, people. A cracking job. So <laughs> I shall bring my little mat in. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I suppose the only other thing is that um, will the phone explode with the heat? Because phones get super duper hot when you use them for a Facebook Live, they really get hot. So we'll see, we'll see. So um, the first one, you tend to have it so it's spread out. I'll show you when, I, oh, have I got it? Yes, I have got it on. The others you can just slightly pull away from you. So just slightly pull, not a lot, just a little bit, and just push those seams away. With this one that's close to me, you kind of spread it out. So let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so you can see that the first one is um, like that, where both seams going the opposite way. Um, you can have them going across if you want to. It's just how you start off, it's up to you. But um, there we are. So that's a lovely, lovely, neat finish. And use your best press if you want to, to make it gorgeous. And then let's switch the iron off, because I don't want to have too many hot things here. So then what we're going to do is actually uh, trim it. So I'm going to get my lovely ruler and let me just move you in slightly. There we go. Gosh, my phone's so hot. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is trim it like you would with any form of patchwork. Um, you just want to make it lovely and what we call square you're not making it square at all you're just neatening everything up don't worry about measuring you're just using the patchwork as it is so just cut and then what you're going to do is that you're going to take these ends off okay you're going to square it up so I'm going to square it up if we have a look here can you see this end here that comes out just a little bit? That's where I'm going to square it up to. I'll cut it, then I'll show you. So as you can tell from a little project that looks really simple, actually you end up with a really lovely um, design that you can use for anything really, just absolutely anything. 
um, and it could be just for you as a little gift to yourself and make it out some really pretty fabrics. So there we are. So we should have, well, it's just under the seven inches, so that's fine. That's not fine, that's, that's no bother. So there's our piece of patchwork, so you can see what it looks like now. So we've used seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now what we're going to do is put the sides on. So all we're going to do there is pop those sides on. I've said to cut seven inches, but obviously you can trim that back if you want to. And all we're going to do is add those on and then we'll press them so those are nice and neat as well. So let's just bring the machine in. I think we're doing, we're doing really well, guys. <laughs> I am, I don't know about you. <laughs> let's, have, let's have a look on, on the comments. Is there anything I need to see? <laughs> Oh dear me. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, Viv says she can't uh, do Facebook at all. Well, uh, you know what? It's We're all different with our technology, aren't we? We really are. It's, um, it's something that we constantly moan about, isn't it? It's We constantly moan about it. And uh, I often get comments from people that says, you know, I'm no good with technology. Well, we're none of us are, are we? We're not, um, what's his name, the fella that invented, um, who's on, who's, who's the internet chappy? Or even, um, I'm thinking of the Amazon chappy, but I don't suppose he matters much. Uh, yep, so everybody is um, I, I, different. Every device is different. Every time we use something, it's different. Things change. You just think you got to grips with it and then it changes again. <laughs> so you can see I've just literally sewn the sides on and I'm going to trim that away so it's lovely and neat. Okay, so we'll just push this away again. I'm going to give it a little iron, so I'm just going to pop my iron back on again, just really quickly. Get my ruler and just trim my ends away. So obviously that was um, a generous measurement there. So let's do that quickly. There we go. And we'll just open that up. That's lovely. Doesn't it look pretty? It looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, I haven't had any sherry. I should have done, shouldn't I? That would have been better if I'd had some. Okay, so there we are. <laughs> I'll hold that up so you can see. So there's our piece done. It looks really good, doesn't it? Doesn't it look gorgeous? So the next thing we're going to do is actually put the handle on or the strap. Now, I have given you instructions on how you can um, put the strap on or make the strap rather if you haven't got any webbing. I've got webbing, which is fine. And all we're going to do is we're going to put it across our patchwork piece. So I'm just going to measure it, offer it up and just cut it. It uses the smallest amount. Find the centre as best you can. Measure it if you need to. Pop a clip in either side. That, that could do with trimming back a bit. We want it flat. We don't want it loopy. We know sometimes you, you kind of loop straps, don't you? But with this one, we don't want to loop. Um, we're we going to sew through the middle anyway. So you can see now what that looks like. And we're just going to base these down so they stay put and we get the clips out of the way because we really don't want to have the clips um, uh, there while we're stitching. So let's, let me just uh, have a little look, make sure it's fairly central, fairly happy with that. So we'll just run that under the machine again. Right, now are we all okay? How are we doing? I'm just going to have a look on my laptop. Um, is everybody happy? Is everybody having fun? Is anybody, oh, is anybody going on their holidays? Um, <laughs> Bill Gates, thank you. Thank God somebody's listening to me. Um, Sandra says, lovely beach fabric. My fabric comes from the cosy cabin. It doesn't always come from the cosy cabin, um, but um, this did. Um, yep, I keep forgetting I've got a, an automatic foot lower um, so we're just basting it so I'm going about an eighth of an inch in from the side I'll show you when I've done 
and you can you can turn up a long stitch if you want you know you can turn your stitch up to four with roni basting so it does, doesn't have to be a really nice neat stitch um, and then it, it means that you don't have to worry about clips and having those um, in the way now um, I strongly suggest at this stage this is when you put your wadding on if it's if wadding is what you want okay I don't want wadding uh, it's the, the pattern it, I'm going to follow it as the pattern says and I don't want wadding but please do use um, an in our form I think that would be very useful because it's foam uh, I don't suggest you use 80 20 but you can if you want to you're gonna have to decide what's best for you and make it personal to you okay so the next bit is to um, put it on our toweling now I have told you in the pattern to cut a piece of toweling much bigger than your piece I mean this is really far too big um, and that's only because toweling is a bit of a monkey in other words it, it, it frays it you lose bits um, it's messy and what I wanted you to do is a bit like when you sew anything tilda I wanted you to stitch it on, the, on a bigger piece, I mean, that's a bit generous. I mean, we could take it down to sort of there. Um, stitch all the way around, then trim. Okay, I'll, I'll keep it in the middle. Um, and that way, um, all of the sides stay nice and clean, if you like. But you could obviously make it a lot smaller. I've, I think I've said in the pattern is a nine inch square, but by all means, make it a little bit smaller if you want to. I'm just being super generous because I'm demonstrating. <laughs> so now we're going to stitch all the way around. We're going to leave a turning gap in the bottom of, let's say, two and a half inches ish. Um, and we, we're not going. We're going. Then we're going to trim and turn, okay? And we're, but we're not going to top stitch. Uh, there's a reason for that. So um, what I'm going to do is, oh, before I forget, because you know I would, we need to curve our piece. Now that's why you've got the circle, okay? That's why you've got the circle because that is to guide you as to how to do your curve. So if I bring that back, let's hope you can see this fairly clearly. All I'm going to do is pop my template in the corner and where the two edges meet the circle, can you see? That's where we draw. And I'm going to, all I'm using is a pencil and we'll trim it back to that line, okay? Um, but we're going to stitch inside that line. I'm not going to trim it now. I, I mean, you can, by all means, trim it now and then, you know, work with it. I think in the pattern I trimmed it before I put it on the toweling. It, it matters not. And you're, all you're using the template for is to make your curve. Because if I said to you, use a lid of a tin or jar, you know, it's like everything. It's a different. Might be a might be a mustard jar. Might be a jam jar that's massive. It might be a pickle jar that's even bigger. <laughs> so I thought it'd probably be better just to give you a circle, <laughs> and then you we're all going to be the same, aren't we? So all I've done is drawn that on. Can you see what that looks like? And if you want to, by all means, cut those circles out those little round corners cut them out so they look like that um, or you can leave them in and you're stitching a quarter inch in on from that line okay so I'll leave that for you to decide you're all grown-ups you can decide what to do for the best for you so let's bring the machine in again let's move it along so you can see so don't forget your turning gap and a good way of remembering is putting two pins in. So let's do that. Let's be good. So two pins there. You know that's your stop point. And just for effect, I'll do the two pins here. And that's your start point. So if you pin, like it says in the pattern, all the way around. I must admit this toweling grabs your fabric. It, it almost sticks to it. But if you want to pin this all the way around, don't forget to leave your two pins in so you know where you're going to stop and start. OK, it's, it's a really good way of keeping yourself on track. 
So let's um, put it into the machine. A little back stitch. There we go. And follow the lines around the curves. I'll show you when I've done and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, you're going along your patchwork piece, along your webbing, up to the next corner and then we're just coming round again. Um, how are we getting on? Jackie says she loves this fabric. Uh, goodness, thank goodness for grandchildren. <laughs> uh, Sarah says she's just come back from Cornwall. How lovely. Wendy says, fabulous demo, Lizzie. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm surprised I'm even here. Insane. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Andrea, for the stars. You see, it's not very often I see stars, is it? Oh, uh, how lovely. Thank you. Oh, Pat says she's madly trying to keep up. Oh, Pat, try. It would be lovely if you could and then post it straight away in the Making It Monday group. I would love that. Uh, Bill Gates invented Microsoft. Yeah, you see. Oh, Lee, um, Tim Berners-Lee created the World Wide Web. You see what I mean? They're so clever. You know, we can't expect to be like that. Uh, Pat says, at least I have my Lizzie templates. You're <laughs> right. Yeah, I mustn't forget to change that. How ridiculous. Um, <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, Patsy said she ordered templates on Saturday. Yes, I'm expecting delivery tomorrow. Patsy said they'll go out straight away. Bamboo toweling. I, I, do you know, Marilyn, I am absolutely not sure. i tell you why. I went on, I think it was eBay, about hmm, three years ago. And I ordered, my foot needs to come down, bear with a second. I ordered a box of mixed white fabric, okay? And I've got all sorts. I've got fur fabric, I've got toweling, I've got jersey, I've got fleece. Um, I think that's it. And this toweling is part of it. And it's um, I got a massive piece. And so, I don't know. And some of it has like pattern markings on it. So obviously it's, obviously it's from a factory and they've used it to make some garments or something. And yeah, they've still got the pattern markings on. So I'm just taking out my double pins. That's a big enough gap. And so some of it I can use, some of it actually I probably can't. But it was a mixed lot and I think I paid probably five pounds for it, something like that. Um, so every now and again it comes out. So let's have a look. So can you see that on my corner, if I hold it straight, on this corner here, I've cut it. So I've just followed that curve around. On this corner, I didn't cut it, but I've got it drawn and I just stitched and I followed my drawn line. Okay, so... Um, you can see that it makes no difference which way you do it, all right? So now we're going to trim it and I'm going to trim it with pinking shears. Um, so maybe that's why I'm quite wasteful because this was a kind of job lot. It's just gorgeous quality, it's ever so thick. Now with the pinking shears, you might find you get a little bit stuck over the, uh, the webbing because it's very thick. So if you wanted to, you could just jump past that bit and not cut it with the pink and shears. And the only reason I'm using pink and shears is because we've got curves, okay? And it just saves me clipping in. But as it's quite chunky anyway, you don't get really smooth curves. Um, you, it, it'll hop about. Now look, when you come to your opening, which I'm nowhere near and I'm thinking I am, uh, see, we're just so going over the webbing, so I'm just going to pick it up to give it some oomph with my hand. And if you struggle, please don't struggle, just hop past that bit. So when you come to your opening, I'll show you. Um, I don't want you to cut that. Well, I do, but I don't want you to cut right up to all the way along. I just want you to cut up to the turn point. So just trim it off like that I'll go across I'm going to show you don't, don't panic um, I'm going to show you what that looks like there we go super 
gosh, I've got sounding everywhere now. So, <laughs> can you see how that looks? So that's how I want you to do it. You could make the toweling a little bit longer if you wanted to. Bamboo toweling, gosh, wouldn't that be lovely? That would be a treat. Anyway, there we are. So that's how it looks, so you know. And of course, this is the point where we turn it through. And of course, you can decide whether you're going to stitch that turning gap or whether you glue it. Now, I glued my first one um, because I could. But obviously you could, if you wanted to, hand stitch it. Um, where's my turning tool? I haven't got it. I'll use a pencil. It's a bit softer than anything else. Um, if your handle comes over the side of the toweling, it just needs to be pushed through. Uh, let's do the end with the rubber on, I think. So just push, push it out as you normally would. Make a really nice, neat job of it. Um, and just keep going until you know you've got it all all pushed out and and quite honestly using a small print is perfect absolutely perfect for this there we go absolutely gorgeous so a really simple little project but it's going to be ever so useful you could make a dozen of these and have them ready for when somebody comes to stay um, you could embroider on these their name you know you, I mean, let's put the iron on so we can give it a little press so where, where you've got the side panels here, you could embroider their name. You'd obviously need to stabilise the fabric to do that. But you could say, you know, somebody comes to stay, uh, Lily. I could have Lily written on there. That would ra look rather posh. And then you could leave it in their, on their bed so they've got a nice new mitt to use in the shower or the bath or whatever they want to use it for, really. Um, uh, obviously, this is because we're in beach month, this is for sun cream, uh, so that's what it would be used for. So all you're going to do is push that seam back a quarter of an inch, that's what you've stitched, and then you're going to stitch that by hand. Or you can use some glue. Um, this is a really lovely glue. Um, it's the one that Abigail uses and it's really a good quality glue and it's a fabric glue as well um, Let's have a look. I'm just going to see what it says about washing No, it doesn't wash. Well, no, I'm not saying it doesn't wash I'm just saying it doesn't tell us but because it's been made for fabric. It should be fine for washing Let's have a look. Oh, it says for general household fabric and craft products. That should be okay but the thing to do is if you want to, just give it a little bit of glue. And then if you wanted to, you could then hand stitch it, but at least you've got the two edges put together nice and neatly to allow you then to hand stitch with, uh, instead of using pins, you've used the glue. Okay, so I'm not saying you have to glue it. I'm just saying it's an option. And then just make sure your edge is really nice and straight. And then what we can do is give it a little iron that sets the glue dries the glue and then just make sure just pull that webbing out make sure that seam is just gorgeous go all the way around now i don't suggest you top stitch now the reason for that is because would you top stitch and i'm saying this theoretically would you top stitch the webbing down I'm going to show you in a sec let me just finish pressing it would you stitch the webbing down would you is that how you would do it okay so let me just hold this up so you can see would you stitch that webbing down because by golly even my industrial machine would struggle going through all those layers or would you top stitch all the way around and stop there <laughs> jump over and start there and top stitch and um, possibly not because you'd have that kind of break I don't think it's necessary but obviously if you want to you could you could also think about using a decorative embroidery stitch or from your machine all the way around if you wanted to something maybe with a seaside theme if that's how you're going to make it but certainly it's something perhaps not necessary and I know lots of lovely ladies like to top stitch don't think it's necessary. So the last thing we're going to do is to stitch this down. Now, you might say to me, 
what's the point of that? Well, if I was to put my hand in there, it's far too big. It's going to slip off. Now, if you would imagine, right, when this has got full of sun cream, that's just going to keep sliding off my hand, which is no good to anybody. So the solution, therefore, is to find the center of your middle triangle and we're going to stitch all the way through the layers okay now I'm going to bring in the one that I made and the reason why we stitch through that is first of all it means we can get our hands in and we can hold it snug but also it keeps all the layers together here if you didn't have those layers connected which means maybe you want to quilt it um, you will find that as this gets more soaked if you like with lotion it'll start to become floppy and it will separate itself completely from the back um, so to actually stitch it together there ensures that all those layers stay together so if you want to quilt it and make it a real masterpiece filly boots but you know what if you're making a hundred of these for your craft store for the autumn don't bother <laughs> So we're going across, if I can get it under the machine. Do you know this machine catches this toweling? It really doesn't like it. <laughs> it's like, don't keep asking me to stitch through toweling. I hate it. <laughs> so we're going to do, it's only catching on the feed dogs. <laughs> Couple of stitches, come back, stitch across there. Go, just go over your web webbing if you want to. Now, if you wanted to, you can turn that around and come back on yourself. Stop, cut your threads, um, and then you'll have a lovely, lovely, neat, super duper strong finish. Okay, so let's just move that out the way. So now we have a lovely mitty number two. Okay, yes, it looks like espadrilles. <laughs> looks a bit strange um but you can see how that looks it it's really a lovely lovely little make and i'd, I'd like to see uh, a few of these in the making it monday group that would be fabulous so i'm going to try and lift you up now guys if i lose the phone don't worry i will try and bring you back up again <laughs> and connect you but i'll just try and get my hand out of the way as well i don't think anything i do is going to really work we'll see how we get on I'm not profesh with this like Abigail and Kath. How's that? Oh, well. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I keep using the wrong hand. Let's go up a bit. That will have to do. That will have to do. This is the best I can manage. Um, if I lo lo go down on my stool a bit. <laughs> so There we are. That's how much I love you all, guys, because I managed to do this on my phone. Whew. I need to go and have a lie down in a, in a dark room with a, with a bar of chocolate and a glass of sherry. Um, so there we are. So there is Mitty. I hope you enjoy making Mitty. Um, please don't worry about the template. We'll, I'll get that sorted right this very minute. Um, but I hope you go and make some. I'd love to be able to see some in the Making It Monday group. That would be fabulous. And I really look forward to the next time. Now, Beach Bear, Beach Bear book cushion, which is the book cushion that our Gemma Joy made for me. Isn't that absolutely glorious? He's got his daddy's sunglasses on, which I think are super cool. They are, that is silver faux leather. So I think it's just awesome. I really, really, really want you to go and buy Beach Bear. He, everything, all the money, every single penny goes to children in need and none of it goes to me. There's no little backhander here at all. Um, all the proceeds go to children in need and my goodness me, it's so worth it. I haven't done the calculation yet to include July, but we had got up to three and a half thousand pounds. So we're well on the way to, well, at least I don't know, three, eight, three, nine, something like that. I haven't done the maths, but I'll let you know when I do. Um, so please go and buy Beach Bear. He's just gorgeous. Look, he's got his bucket in spade. He's got his sunglasses on. He's actually there, he's daddy's. He borrowed them. They keep slipping down his nose. Poor little soul. Right, that's me done. I think the stress levels have been enough for me this evening. <laughs> and I'll see you all again. 
I'll see you, actually I'll see the gold members tomorrow night. Don't forget Kath's doing part two of her project Christmas Eve. And also I will see you all again on Thursday in the gold group. But if you're not in the gold group, and I don't know why you're not, the 14 day free trial is on, so that won't cost you a penny for 14 days. Um, I will see you on Monday. Please don't also forget that we have special offers on all the time. Please pop, pop to the website and have a look for the special offers box because, um, in fact, I haven't updated it. I need to do that. Something else I've got on my list to do. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Take care. It's been such fun. <laughs> Bye. See if I can finish this.